Hello and welcome to bplugins.com and in this video we are going to take a look at how we can add an HTML5 audio player in our WordPress website. And for that, we are going to use the HTML5 audio player plugin from bplugins. First, I'll walk you through how you can add the free version of HTML5 audio player. And then we will take a look at how we can upgrade that to the pro version of audio player from bplugins. So if you're ready, then let's dive in. So here we have a fresh copy of WordPress setup. And in order to add the free version of HTML5 audio player, we need to go to plugins. And then from here, we click on add new plugin. And from here in the search plugin options, we will type in HTML5 audio player. And here we can see the HTML5 audio player from B plugins. So let's go ahead and install this one. So we click on install now. And then click on activate. All right, so now we have the free version of this HTML5 audio player installed. And here we can see we have a new entry in our WordPress backend for this audio player. So let's go ahead and click on this. And in order to add a new HTML5 audio player, we need to click on this add new player button from here. So let's click on this. And first of all, let's give it a name. And now in order to add this audio player on our WordPress pages or post, we have two options. Either we can use this short code here or we can directly add this into the template files using this PHP code. But for this example, we are going to use the short code from here. But before we do that, we need to do some configuration for this audio player. So let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And here, the first option in audio player configuration, we have the audio source. And from here, we can enter the URL for our audio that we want to use in our audio player. Or we can simply click on add audio from this button and then upload an audio file into our WordPress media library. So let's go ahead and do that. We click on select files. And here we have uploaded an audio file from our computer. Now let's click on select. And once we have added the audio source, the next option is player width where we can define the width of our audio player. So right now it is set to 100%. We can also use the pixel value if in case you want a fixed width for your audio player. Right now we will leave it as 100%. And after that we have an option for autoplay. So if in case you want the audio player to play the audio as soon as the page loads, we can toggle this option as on. But right now we will keep it off. After that, we have an option for repeat. So if in case we want the audio to be played in loop, so once again, we can toggle this option on from here. After that, we have an option for disable loader. So right now it is set on off, but if in case you want to show the loading animation in the front end, you can turn this on from here. And if we scroll down, we have a lot more options that we can play around with in order to do some advanced customization with this audio player. But these options are available for the pro version only and that we are going to cover in just a few minutes. But right now, if we scroll on the top here, we can publish our audio player. And now we can copy the short code. And in order to add this on any page or post of our website, we need to go to pages. And let's go ahead and add a new page. So we click on add new page from here. And let's give our page a name. And now in the content area, we need to add a new block to add this short code. So we will type in forward slash and then look for this block that is short code. Let's click on this and we will paste our short code here. And then we just simply need to publish this page. And let's open this in a new tab. So here we can see our HTML5 audio player added on our page. We can go ahead and click on play to see a quick demo. So we can see our audio player is working. So this is how we can use the free version of HTML5 audio player from bplugins.com. Now, let me show you how you can upgrade to the pro version of this HTML5 audio player. So for that, we need to go to bplugins.com and here from the top navigation, we go to products. And if we scroll down here, we can see HTML5 audio player. Let's click on explore. And here is our HTML5 audio player. Here we can see we have all the details about the plugin. 
Along with that, we can also take a look at various demos for this audio player. And in order to purchase the pro version of this audio player plugin, we need to click on buy now from here. And from here, you can choose the best plan that suits your requirement. So let's say we go for unlimited sites. So we click on buy now from here. And this is going to take us to the checkout page where we need to enter our basic details to complete our purchase. So once we have entered all our basic information like email address, first name, last name, then we need to select the payment type that we are going to choose. So let's say we select PayPal from here. Then we need to select our country and then enter the postal code. And after that, we just need to click on continue to PayPal. So go to the final step of this checkout process. So let me just go ahead and do the payment and I'll see you on the other side. So once the payment is done, we are going to get an email confirmation with our account login details as well as our license key. Now, in order to download the pro version of the plugin that we have just purchased, we need to come back here on bplugins.com website. And from here, we need to go to dashboard. And here we need to enter the email address and the password. Now the email address is going to remain the same that we have entered during our purchase and the password we can get from the email confirmation that we have just received. So I just go ahead and copy all the details and paste it here and then click on sign in to your dashboard. And as this is the first time we are logging into this account, we will get a notification to change our password. So let's do that. All right, so here in our account, we can see our HTML5 audio player plugin. So let's go ahead and download this from here. And here we can see we have a pop-up which shows our license key. So let's go ahead and copy this and then click on done. All right, so now we have downloaded the pro version of this plugin. Let's go ahead and install it on our WordPress setup. Now, Once we have downloaded the zip file for the pro version of our plugin, let's go ahead and add that to our WordPress setup. So here we are back again in our WordPress backend and in order to upload the plugin, we need to go to plugin section again and then click on add new. From here, this time we will click on upload plugin and then choose the zip file that we have just downloaded. So we click on choose file from here and here we have the zip and here is our zip file. So let's select that and then click on install now. And as a final step, we click on activate plugin. And here's the point where we need to enter our license key. So let's go ahead and do that. So as we have already copied the, our license key, we can paste it here. Now, just to let you know, once again, you can get this license key from your bplugins.com account, or you can also refer to the payment confirmation email that you must have received once the purchase is done. So let me just go ahead and enter my license key here, and then just need to click on activate license. All right, so here we can see our plugin version is successfully activated. And if you go to plugins, here we have the free as well as the pro version of our HTML5 audio player. All right, so once we have installed and activated the pro version of our HTML5 audio player, let's see what all options we have now. So we come back here in our WordPress backend and we go to HTML5 audio player. And here we can see the audio player that we have already created. So let's go ahead and edit that. And here we can see we have fully unlocked all the options with this pro plugin. If you check out the player configuration, we now have a new option in player type. So currently we are using standard player, but now we can also create a playlist player or we can create a sticky player as well. So we are going to cover playlist in the end. Along with that, we can also add a poster to our audio player. So we click here to upload a new poster image. And then we can upload images in our media library. So let's click on this. So let's upload our cover images here. So let's try with this one. So we select this image. And after this, we can also give title to our player. So let's give it a sample title here. And below this, we get an option to choose the player skin. So right now we have an option for default. We can also choose fusion. And once again, we can select if we want to choose autoplay or not. And after that, we can set the player width. So we are going to leave it as it is. Below this, we can define the seek time. 
So right now it is set to 10 seconds, but we can change it to five or 15 as per our requirement. So if anyone clicks on the seek button, the audio will jump to 10 seconds forward or backward. After that, we have an option for start time. So here, instead of zero second, that is from the beginning, we can set the specific time from where we want to start the audio. So we can customize that as well from here. But right now we will leave it as it is. After that, we have an option for preload. So here we can define what should be preloaded. So we have auto where the browser should load the entire audio file when the page loads, or we can choose metadata. So the browsers will load only the metadata when the page loads, or maybe we can select the none option from here. But right now we will keep it to auto. After that, we have an option for repeat, which we have already turned on. Then we can customize the border radius for our player. So right now it is set to 10 pixel. You can go ahead and use this slider to change it as per your requirement. Then we have an option to align the player. If you want to align this into center, left or right. So according to your design requirements, you can play around with this option. Then we have an option to disable pause button as well. But right now we'll keep it as it is. Then we again have the option for disable loading, which we have already covered. And with the pro version, we also get an option for download button. So if we want our visitors to download our audio file, we can keep this button on if we don't want our visitors to download the audio file from our player. So with that, let's just go ahead and update this player right here and see how it looks in the front end. So let's refresh our page. And here we can see we have an entirely new look for our player. We have our cover image. We have a new control options. We can see the title of the player and we also have the download button and we have also added the rounded corners for our player. Once again, if we click on play, it will start playing our audio. If we come back again here in our settings, let's change the player skin to stamp. And once again, we get different options according to this. And here we can choose the text or control color. So let's select white from here. And if we click on update, and refresh our front end. Here we have new look for our player. Let's go ahead and try the third one. We have the wave option. If we choose this, so once again, we can select the text and the background color. So maybe this time we choose blue as background. Let's update it and refresh the front end. So here we have an entirely different look for our player. And again, we have our cover image as well as the control for the player. So right now we keep it on fusion and now let's go ahead and take a look at how the sticky player looks. So if we click on sticky player, we have an option to choose the player skin. So we can select simple or fusion. Again, we have the same audio source option. So we can upload our audio file and poster and most of the options remains the same. So let me just go ahead and update this and let's see how it looks in the front end. If we refresh the player, here we can see our player is now sticking at the bottom of our page. All right, so now let's go ahead and see how we can use the playlist player. So we come back here and click on playlist player option. And now we have two options here. Either we can create our playlist or we can select the playlist that we have already created. Now this is the new install and we have not created any playlist. So we will create one from this option. And below that we have an option to create playlist and we have an add new button. We can also create our playlist from this option here. So first let's go ahead and create our playlist from here. Let's click on add new. Here we need to give all the details about the audio file. And in order to create our playlist, we need to add more than one audio file. So here we have an option to add new. So we can click on that as well. And then we can add as many audio files as we want. So let's go ahead and enter details about the first one. So we enter audio one. And for the source, we again need to select the audio file from our media library, or we can directly give the URL of our files. So let's select this one. And for the poster image, we again going to select the one that we have already uploaded. And we can give the artist name. Same we are going to do for the audio number two. So here we can give the title, let's upload a source file. Let's choose our second audio file from here. And we are going to use the same poster image. Let's give the artist name. 
And in the same way, we can keep on adding more audio files in this playlist. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we have different options for playlist player. We have auto play next track, which is right now on. So once we finish with the audio number one, it will automatically start playing the audio number two. And after that, we have high download option. So if we want, we can turn it on or off, depending upon if you wish your visitors to download this audio file from your player or not. Then we have an option for player skin. We have narrow and extensive. So we are going to preview both of them once we save this player. And then we also have the player theme. So we have light, dark or custom mode where we can select our brand colors depending upon our website design. So right now we keep it on dark. And below that we also have control buttons and components. So you can go ahead and select which components you want on your player or not. So let's say you want to show duration on your player. You can select that from here. Or if you don't want to show the progress bar, so you can uncheck it from here. So you can play around with all these options. Below that we have use fast forward or rewind button to change audio. So you want to change the audio in the player, you can use the fast forward button. So we can toggle that on or off from here. Once again, we have the player width, so we can set the pixel width of our playlist player from here. And then we can choose the alignment either left, right or center. And then we can also set the initial volume of our player. Right now it is set to 50%. We will leave it as it is. So let's go ahead and save this and see how it looks in the front end. So we refresh our demo page. And here is our audio player with the playlist option. We have both of these audios here. If we click on play, it's going to start playing the first audio. If we click on the second one, it will start playing the second audio. And this is how we can keep on adding more audio files in our player to make the complete playlist. Now, if we come back here, we have another skin. So let's select this one. And again, update our page. And let's see how it looks in the front end. So this is how the second look of our playlist player looks like. We have all the controls and the details right here. So this is how we can use all the three player types for our HTML5 audio player. Now, apart from this short code and the PHP template code, we can also add this HTML5 audio player in the Gutenberg editor. So let me show you how you can do that. So if we come back here in our pages, let's click on add new page and let's name this page as well. And here, if we go ahead and add a new block, we type in forward slash and start typing audio. So here we have the audio player block for our Gutenberg editor. Let's click on this. And here we have the default look of the HTML5 audio player that we can customize from the property panel here on the right hand side. So here we can play around with all these options. So first we have the audio number one, we can give it a title. which will display like this. And we can also change the artist name. And for the audio file, we can choose it from our media library. Once again, we can also upload the cover image. After that, we also have an option to set the player width. We can use pixels or we can use percentage. And once we publish this page, and this is how it looks in the front end. Now in the same way, you can use our various Gutenberg blocks to create different skins and style of HTML5 audio player. If we click on this plus icon here, you can use all these blocks to create your HTML5 audio player of all these types. Now, if in case you are using Elementor, you can use our audio player widget to add this HTML5 audio player anywhere on your Elementor website. This is how you can add an HTML5 audio player on your WordPress website using the plugin from bplugins.com. And if you need any help, then feel free to visit forum.bplugins.com. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. If you want to learn more about all the plugins that we offer, make sure you check out the link in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.